Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. The amount of time I spend in this kitchen has single-handedly set women back a few hundred years, okay? The amount of time I spend in this kitchen has erased some of the work that families have done in the past decade or two. But I'm not mad at it, okay? Because I love my kitchen. I love spending time in this space. This is basically my office, to be honest. I have successfully made it my own and I love it. So I'm going to be showing you guys around. I promised you guys a house tour, but I decided to do my kitchen separately because I want to include some details that if I decide to add it to a house tour, that house tour video is going to be too long. But trust me, a house tour is definitely coming up soon. I just need somebody to film me. But anyway, let's get straight into the business of today. So this is my kitchen, you guys. This space is kitchen slash dining, okay? So left for me, okay, because this house came furnished and I might tell you guys some of the things that, you know, came with the house and some of the things that I added, if I remember. So this house came furnished and, you know, behind the camera here, there is a dining set. Left for me, I would have not put anything here. I would have put my children's chairs or even if I wanted to settle for a dining, I would wouldn't put one that is this big. Now, all that said, this dining is actually a very, very nice dining set. I just wish that we had more space to accommodate it. It sits six people and you can actually extend the dining, okay? So, you can actually extend it to make it longer. Like, if I wanted this to be a longer dining table, you know, so that all the chairs can sit comfortably or I can add like one or two chairs extra, you can extend it, okay? But I don't like to extend it because to me, it's already big enough for this space, okay? Now to this corner, I got this shelving unit from the toilet downstairs, okay? I had to shop around the house and change things to redecorate, okay? I just wanted a space where I can put my Google Home. That's my Google Home. Okay, Google, tell me how beautiful I am. To me, you're an 11 out of 10. Yes, I know. <laughs> Now, inside the drawers, I have medication there and just some random things, but mostly my kids' medication because every morning and sometimes in the evening, they take their supplements. So, their supplements are there and some first aid medication as well. On the dining table, we have this table mat and this basket of fruits that I always keep stocked up because we eat fruits a lot in this house. I also love this light fixture here. It is so simple and so beautiful. It really complements the space. It's not overwhelming. Now to the rest of the kitchen. So by my side here, I have this dryer with a laundry basket on top. Sometimes the laundry basket is in other rooms, but most times I try to keep it here because anytime I finish drying clothes, I pour them into the laundry basket to either put in another set or to take them upstairs and fold and keep. So the house came with a washing machine, but the washing machine doesn't have a dryer. Like it doesn't wash and dry. It's quite small. So my husband decided to get a dryer separately and we decided to keep it in the kitchen because there's no other space to put the dryer. Left for me, I would have had like a proper laundry room but there's no that space to keep it but we actually love this dryer so much it's quite big we can dry a lot of clothes in it and there's no extra wiring or extra vents and stuff to be put for it it collects water in this small compartment here so we just empty the water frequently and put it back and that's it no special wiring and next we have my fridge my freezer fridge <laughs> that I brought from Nigeria. You guys, this is one of the things I'm so excited about because I have space to store my food, okay? Because this house came with a fridge, but the freezer compartment of that fridge is quite small. I'll show you guys shortly. On top of this fridge, I have this acrylic monthly and weekly planner. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box. You guys should go and get yours, okay? Because this has helped me a lot okay now down here the weekly planner i use it to plan our meals it's basically like a food timetable and i've told you guys before in previous videos that i cannot live without a food timetable anymore okay it makes my life so much easier then up here in the monthly planner i have things written down that i'm going to do throughout the month okay things that i want other people in the house to remember I put it here. One thing I told myself that I was going to do once I get here is to be as minimalist as possible, okay? First of all, I don't even like clutter, but another reason is that it is going to help me be more organized because right now I don't have help. I do everything myself, okay? I mean, my family, they pitch in where they can, but basically most of the house 
work and kitchen work falls on me so if i don't keep things clutter free or if i'm just buying stuff up and down i am going to be overwhelmed and overstimulated and i do not want that okay so that is why i'm not afraid to have empty spaces in, in anything i do i'm not afraid to have empty spaces okay now inside the fridge you can see that there are so many empty spaces and i try to stop myself from filling them up with stuff okay the things that i have here are things that are not easily accessible things that we use all the time like you know the condiments and ketchup and all of that milk as well i always have milk you know i always have like two or three bottles of milk then you know this coolie coolie i brought from nigeria some of my nigerian snacks um they're fruits okay i always stock up on fruit so we always have a lot of fruits in the fridge we don't have any soft drinks we don't have any you know cookies and cakes and stuff like that I did that on purpose to help myself <laughs> his number one is to help myself but also to help my family okay so the only drinks i have here is my homemade zobo um so here i have eggs most of the eggs here are actually boiled eggs i have raw eggs in the other fridge but the eggs here are boiled eggs because we consume boiled eggs a lot now for the freezer i have lots of pap that i brought from nigeria i also have my full stuff that i brought from nigeria in here then i have lots of meat okay so i buy a lot of meat i buy meat from african store i buy meat from aldi as the anywhere <laughs> any shop i enter i must buy meat. ground beef bacon sausage chicken fish beef goat meat all of that i use them a lot so that's why i have lots of meat here i also have bread in here i always store bread in my freezer never in my fridge okay the best place to store your bread your baked goods is inside the freezer so i always have at least two loaves of bread or two or three loaves of bread in my freezer at a time i just bring out one and keep on the kitchen counter that will eat that week or that day or whatever okay i also have soups and scent leaf you guys i bought this printer this mini printer from amazon and i've been going haywire with it okay <laughs> i've been tagging everything it's meant to tag my children on their face now moving on to my other fridge same thing as well it doesn't really have much in it but inside this fridge i have more cooked food inside it okay so more of my cooked food is inside this fridge i just try to meal prep every week every friday i meal prep for the week i don't cook too much but anything i cook that week you must chop them everybody must eat it like i don't nobody has options in this house <laughs> i'm the only one that has options in this house okay then down here is the freezer of this fridge it's quite small it has some of my stuff there especially the stuff that i am not reaching for immediately so things like ground crayfish because i brought i bought a lot i just put some into a container and kept the remaining inside the freezer um stock fish dry fish a goosey ogbono um all those things that i came from nigeria with most of them are inside that freezer the ones that could enter the ones that cannot enter and the ones i know are not going to spoil if they're not in the freezer i put them inside another storage place here okay that's it about the fridge that came with the house then the house also came with this i don't know what these two things are okay i don't know what they are there's no, no nothing written on it's nothing like microwave or oven written on them i feel like they are both oven or maybe one is microwave one is oven i don't know i know this one is most likely oven i don't know what this is or maybe they're just two different sizes of oven i don't know but obviously i have never used them i think my husband tried to use it once or whatever i just told him see just leave my mercy day i beg i don't understand but whenever i have time i'm going to use like google lens to just you know snap it and see what it is and then you know maybe we can use it up here i have all my snacks mostly snacks i got from nigeria okay so they are up here but we don't really eat them that much because we're mising them you guys we are mising them these things have to be here for as long as possible yeah those are my nigerian snacks there even my kids don't even go there their hand cannot even reach there except they carry chair or something now down here is where i have the rest of my ingredients all the condiments all the extra food stuff the dry zobo the dry leaves all the extra curry time all those things they are in here now this is ground coffee i actually put ground coffee here this ground coffee i saw it in this house when i came okay and i didn't want to drink it even though it was quite new i didn't want to drink it because it, i saw it in the house so what i did was i just opened it up and i put it in here to absorb 
the smell okay because when i came from nigeria and i opened my box okay <laughs> when i opened that box the smell of crayfish and all those things was so strong and i didn't want my house to have that smell or even my kitchen to have that smell so that is why i put it in here and i opened this ground coffee and kept it in here and so far even though yes i removed the crayfish and the fish from there you can't even tell that i have full stuff in there because i even have uziza seeds there like ground uziza seeds i have dry leaves there dry uziza dry otazi dry scent leaf okay you can't tell i have all those things there because there is no smell whatsoever so that's another tip for you okay if you want to absorb smell from any area just put ground coffee you can just open it up and just put it there you can pour it inside a bin you can put it inside a all these organza bags you can pour it into an organza bag and just put it there it will help absorb the smell okay and yeah i like the way my kitchen smells now up here i have my crayfish powder my pepper soup spice my pink salt olive oil red oil i just try and you know replace the red oil because I, I have big jars of red oil that i came with nigeria i came from nigeria with okay is that the english yes like inside the container we put some gallons of red oil so what i do is that when this one finishes i just pour back into this container I didn't buy like a special container for red oil but i bought this one for olive oil because i use olive oil every morning to fry eggs or fry 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 you know or to even put in the air fryer so that is why i have olive oil inside this spray it makes things easier for me and i also have this lazy susan here that i use to put all my spices i try to stick to the spices that i am sure i always use okay because one thing about having these spice jars these spice jars were actually 24 in the pack okay one thing about them is that you're going to start feeling forced to try and you know add some new spices see i know myself i know the spices that i reach for all the time there's really no point going to go and buy things that i know i don't really use so that's why i just talk to the ones that i reach for all the time okay so and that's it here i left some some things that came with their own jars like this um this chili pepper i think my husband bought this thing i saw it in the house when we when i just came so this chili pepper and crushed that's the other house this chili, chili pepper and crushed chilies they came in like small glass bottles i just left them in their bottles but every other thing like this red pepper cameroon pepper and all of that i came with bigger quantities they are all under there so i just took from those quantities and put small here like uziza you know rosemary yellow pepper all those things i came with large quantities so i just took some from there and put inside these small jars and yeah that's it for this corner and those are my chopping boards yeah, not special there. <laughs> In here, this is my breakfast station. I don't know what to call it, but it's like my breakfast station. But up here, I have Ijebu Gari and my seasoning cubes. So yeah, I just put my seasoning cubes inside those containers. One is for chicken, one is for beef. That's all. That's all I use. Those are the only two seasoning cubes I use. Those are no cubes. I came with them as well. So I just put some inside these containers while the extras are down there. Okay. Um, but the middle part is for honey. Um, so Eva had coughed the other day, so I had to buy honey. I had to buy two different types. I don't even know why I bought two different types. Fun fact, I haven't even used any one on her because the next day the cough left without anything. So then here I have my coffee and my teas behind. I always drink tea, so I have like English breakfast teas, PG tips behind. I also have this Holy Communion. <laughs> I bought this in Nigeria. So we use this for Holy Communion in the house. And then in here, it says coffee and sugar but this is actually sugar and uh, stevia okay so i use stevia for my tea stevia is a kind of sweetener so stevia is actually in the sugar container and then in the coffee container i have sugar there i don't even know why i did not switch it like i should have put sugar in sugar container and put stevia in the coffee container but anyway that is it about that in here i have random containers up there I, they actually came with the house okay they were inside the house so i just left them there the glasses as well came with the house so i just left them there but i removed their teacups because i did not like their teacups they were mostly mismatched and you know i didn't just like the teacups so i removed their teacups i bought mine so these are the teacups that i got and i actually got five teacups three for my kids the three matching ones for my kids then the two matching ones for me and my husband and the two matching ones are one is green one is pink but they're matching teacups 
that is all the teacups we are going to have in this house i'm not going to buy teacups for any reason whatsoever okay because i don't want to start having too many mismatched cutlery and cups and spoons and all of that i just want to have the basics that we all need even when it comes to plates and stuff i'll show you guys i tried not to get too many i just got what was necessary and what we have been using that is necessary okay if you, if there's no extra please go and wash the one that has been used so down here i have some of my kitchen gadgets like the hand gadget this is a chopper i love this chopper you guys i'm going to leave a link to this chopper in the description box okay it is the full star chopper very good there is nothing I don't chop inside this thing, okay? Like, I can't remember last time I actually sat down and was cutting onions. The other day though, I tried to cut off the head of the onions and I injured myself. To show you how rusty I am when it comes to cutting onions. But yeah, um, then this is hand, hand grinder. I brought one from Nigeria. That normal hand grinder that you just roll like this. I brought it from Nigeria because it comes in handy sometimes when I want to just, you know, chop roughly chop like two or three pepper why am i bringing out food processor or bringing out blender then this is also a mortar a small mortar just in case i'm not really use it anyway but this one then this is i don't know what this is it came in the house i just left it there this is for keeping your hot pots after you're finished cooking okay google what's the time it's 2 21 pm chai i'm late to I'm almost late. Okay. Now that is electric kettle. That one came with the house. We've been using it. And then these are my cooking utensils. I bought this. I love it. I kind of love the color. I bought this wooden one separate and I bought this. This one came as a set. I love the color so much. I also was happy when I saw this same color of, you know, um, knife block. So I bought it as well. I bought this knife that doesn't have seams. I love these seamless knives and they are so sharp. When I hear this thing is sharp, this thing is sharp. But I like seamless knives because nothing enters into the You know those knives that come with like plastic handle or wooden handle? I don't like it when water enters and then things enter and it starts looking disgusting. So I always go for seamless knives. Um, I had one in Nigeria, so I looked for it and I got this and I love it. Now this is my sink. Nothing much to see here. I don't even understand what this middle part is for. It's small, it doesn't do anything. I just put cups there sometimes when I'm washing or, or knives there when I'm washing but it does not make sense to me but anyway <laughs> we move this is my little scrub daddy I bought a holder for it so that the, the scrub daddy is not just you know soaking in water or just kept on any surface I just attach it back there whenever I'm done washing and then this container here I actually brought this thing from Nigeria I used to dry dishes when I'm done mostly cups and stuff anytime I hand wash I just try to dry my dishes in here and then you guys I have this flower here when I came this flower was so dead the both of them actually they were no this one was not really that dead this one was not really that dead you guys cannot really see but I, I don't adjust the lighting again I'm tired <laughs> then I have this flower here you guys this flower was so dead when it, when I came but I resurrected it. I was I was tempted to throw it out though. I was thinking I'll just throw it out, but no. I was like, no, we can do this. I can get you back. Okay, so I started watering it, and it is one of the most beautiful flowers I have ever seen. Like the most beautiful plants I've ever seen. Like I love the color of the flowers. I love the way it blooms. I love the way it looks. And imagine it's blooming so well in this weather. So I love it. I'm going to find out the name of this plant so that in case anything happens to it, I'll get it back again. So here is the dishwasher. Nothing special there. I use it a lot. Okay, my kids use it. I use it. My husband, like everybody in this house, we are now dishwasher dependent. <laughs> I mean, I, I've taught my kids how to wash things with their hand, but the truth is that as long as the dishwasher is there, we use it for most things except pots. Not even just all pots, so except like enamel pots or pots that have are coated and you know nice like to, okay my wooden stuff okay so my wooden utensils my wooden chop boards my pots the ones that have coating or uh, that are enamel and then knives those are the things we don't wash in the dishwasher every other thing if it can enter i'm gonna wash it there okay but under here i have my pasta my pounder and i have my plantains potatoes and onions there i also have oil behind there um, the plantains I put here are plantains that I want to get very ripe because most plantains here don't get too ripe So if I want my plantain to get very ripe, I just keep it here for like one or two days and then I use it Okay, then on the other side I have my beans and I have my rice. So this top drawer. I have my cutlery uh, Measuring cups even stuff for mixer my silverware 
my brushes for washing straws i put everything in this top drawer you know so this top drawer came with the dividers i just removed all their things that were there before because they had so many things in there i removed most of them but i think they still have some things here things like the mixer um, um attachments i still left it here now the next job is for all the plates and my children's cups i put my children's cups in here so they can have easy access to it when they want to drink water then down here the last drawer has just different rishi rishi like baking sheets foil ziploc bags uh, baking paper all those things you know then these are trays for eating air fryer liners and my microfiber cloths okay in here i have my pots and i love the fact that this thing slides out like i can't tell you how happy i am that this thing actually slides out so here i have one big pot i bought this big pot i use this pot to make zobo or when i want to cook meat in bulk i use this pot then i have just one normal pot and i have two saucepans we use those ones a lot to make like oatmeal, indomie, boy eggs, all those small small things, warm stew, all those small small things that we don't need a big pot for. That's why I have actually basically bought two. I thought I put one in my cart. I didn't know if I put it again. So it just showed two, but I didn't take note of it until I paid from Amazon. But anyway, I love it so much. And I bought this small frying pan, which is serving me. I wanted to buy a bigger one at some point, but the truth is that I don't fry that much. And anytime I fry, I use the air fryer. So this frying pan is mostly for eggs that's it and I'm most of the time I fry just two eggs at once so that's why um, I bought a small frying pan then this other part has some extras like uh, washing bowls and stuff and some baking pans and measuring cups and sieve and all of that and there's a space here this space is actually for my cast iron pots that I ordered since since January Amazon I ordered cast iron pots since January this is February and it does not yet come if it doesn't come today because today is supposed to be the last day for it to come if it doesn't come today i'm going to cancel that order because it doesn't even make sense what, what the hell but i love the pot i love the color the color is this color that's what's annoying me the color is this my teal color that's why i, I really wanted the pot but if it doesn't come it will pay me over i have to cancel it i mean like i mean what's that so inside this compartment i have all our cereals and oats and you know milo milk and granola and food and fiber all those things are there um i brought these containers from nigeria you guys remember these containers they were in my pantry in nigeria we don't have a pantry here and here that would have been a pantry is where the boiler is so i just put everything here then down here i have all my tupperware i learned a hack to always keep your tupperware with their covers okay i don't i don't wash tupperware and put separate put the cover separate no i wash them once they dry i make sure they are dried properly and i close them back so anyone that does not have cover will be tossed away and so far they are always complete i don't know whether it's just because i'm now the one that is, that is always in charge but my things are always complete and i'm like we thank the lord for that okay because i hated in nigeria when anytime i want to put soup in the fridge i would collect container i'll pour soup oh yeah where's the cover now we'll start looking for cover and the next thing we'll go and look for one nonsense cover somewhere and just cover it just because you know i've already put the food but now everything has a cover and i love it okay i also put my kids water bottle here and all of that so these are the kitchen bins as well so i tag them this is recycle and this is for general waste um just so that you know we make things easier for my husband because he's the one in charge of those being basically that's my own contribution to the trash management <laughs> okay so this is the last part of the kitchen that i want to show you guys i call here the laundry room even though technically it's not really a laundry room but technically it is a laundry room because that is where the washing machine is but yeah on top of here is where i keep the kitchen gadgets so this is like the kitchen gadgets garage okay <laughs> i would have put the electric kettle here but i use that one so often that i just don't want to put this in here and again when you use electric kettle sometimes not even sometimes most times when the water comes to a boil it lets off a lot of steam and i don't want that steam to be inside this place so that's why the electric kettle is not here but every other kitchen gadget this air fryer came with the house and this blender is a very good blender i actually brought my blender from nigeria but i had to keep that one aside because this is actually a very good blender so i use this blender and then my instant pot i talked to you guys about this instant pot before i love it i don't know why many people don't have it like it is a must have okay it's my sister that actually puts me onto this instant pot instant pot because when i went to her house in canada she actually had this so i was like i have to get this for myself okay and i did so down here we have extra stuff so here we have our extra soaps and extra toothpaste 
we brought some of this from Nigeria. I have some extra stuff, like extra the pink stuff, okay? And um, extra pegs, and then the washing detergent is also here. And also some random stuff, okay? Gloves and all of that. So inside this other side, I have some other gadgets, okay? Like the food processor, hand mixer, and um, toaster. They are all here. And then down here, I have some extra stuff like paper towels, extra cleaning stuff, extra sanitary towels, and you know, just basically all the extra, extra stuff that we use on a regular basis. They are there, even detergent. And then this is the washing machine. Nothing special here. It's a nice washing machine, but it's quite small. So my husband is saying that he wants to buy a manual washing machine, which he might put outside, just so that whenever he's washing, he will not have to wait for one cycle to be over before he can watch another cycle he likes to have like multiple cycles running at once so yeah me i don't have any problem with that if it's going to make our lives easier then let's go ahead and do it okay so for my washing machine i actually keep it open most times my washing machine and my dishwasher i actually keep them slightly open so that they don't get moldy and smelly okay so i always anytime we're done washing or we're done you know with a cycle i just leave it open until the next cycle or until the next time that we wash okay so that's it about this space I actually like this space i initially wanted to put like a book um case here like ikea bookcase i'm going to know the bookcase but i wanted to put it here so that i can put all my um food and stuff like all the stuff that comes in containers those things i showed you down there i'll put them here but on the second thought i was like if you create more space you are going to have to get more stuff okay the more space you have the more stuff if you're not careful the more stuff you are going to have so i decided against it i decided not to do anything to this space and i like it under the sink is where i store all the cleaning supplies that we use on a daily basis So that's it for my kitchen slash dining tour. The truth is that my kids and I actually have so many fun memories in here. Like we play music every time and dance on this floor, okay? We, in the mornings, we sit down to eat. Even with my husband, we sit down on this dining table to eat. So if I want to be truthful to myself, this dining is actually such a blessing because we all sit here to eat and talk and gist and laugh and play and, you know, admonish and whatever. <laughs> whatever we do, we do it here. We do a lot of family bonds in this kitchen and I love it okay I now understand that we both concept of kitchen slash dining like I understand it now because we do lots of bonding in here and it's easy for us to just get food and eat here and put in the dishwasher and we're good to go first be like why is there dining inside the kitchen like what the hell what's the point <laughs> I get it now okay but yeah that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching can you guys tell that I actually left I went to pick my kids from school and came back so like one hour I actually took one hour away in between filming and I came back to complete the filming but yeah so my kids are going to be hungry right now but i think that they're going to just eat as much food as they want like they'll eat as many fruits as they want so that i can calm down and prepare dinner but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye